Are you sick and tired of gambling your hard-earned money on Madden packs? Well, look no further than my sponsor, MMOEXP, for the cheapest and most reliable muck coins on the market. And don't forget to use code FURTY at checkout for 5% off. The link for their website will be right at the top of the description. What's going on, guys? Today, we're looking at the brand new Sean Alexander. But before we hop into it, if you are new here, hit that subscribe button. We're on the road to 20,000 subscribers with the subscribe button and turn notifications. We post daily Madden 21 content. And also, do not forget to hit that like button and also leave a link to my Twitch channel down in the description. I will be live tonight over on Twitch rating teams. So if you do want a chance to have your team rated, all you have to do is come through to the live stream today. Like I said, link down in the description. All right, so here is Sean Alexander. He's got 98 speed, 99 acceleration, 90 agility, 95 carrying, 80 catching, 92 COD, 94 trucking, and a 97 break tackle. And today we are rocking full play fake, full sprinter, as well as 25 out of 50 Washington chems putting Sean Alexander at a 98 overall. And I mean, looking at this card stats, the comparison's very obvious, and that's Bo Jackson. Has the same speed and same acceleration as Bo Jackson on a theme team. Not on a theme team, still has 97 speed, 98 acceleration. So I'm not as good, but I mean, 97 speed is still, you know, top three for running backs in the game right now, not on a theme team. And I mean, Sean Alexander is shorter than Bo at 5'11". But um, I actually did go back and watch my old Sean Alexander gameplay. And the card looks small. Like, they, I'm surprised they didn't make Sean Alexander have those big shoulder pads like he had in real life. Um, they actually they actually made the shoulder pads small, and the card's really good at getting through holes. So, um, that was kind of my problem with Bo. I couldn't, the, like, the holes weren't big enough for me to get through. Whenever, and whenever there was a hole, I was always getting grabbed because Bo Jackson is so big. Or I was stumbling because players just go brain dead whenever they run into someone else. So, I feel like that was my main problem with Bo. Hopefully, that doesn't happen with Sean today. But um, yeah, these stats look really good, man. 97 stamina, um, has 95 juke move and 85 spin. So only hits the spin move. I mean, sorry, only hits the juke move threshold, does not hit the spin move. Um, also has 81 short route running, um, 92 COD, 95 stiff arm, 94 ball carrier vision. So I mean, very good ball carrier. Can't really spin that well, but I mean, I, I sometimes spin, I rarely do. Um, but that 95 juke is definitely helpful. I don't remember if he had a good juke animation. I don't remember, but um, yeah, the stats look solid. The route running's there. The catching's there. I don't know. I feel like Sean Alexander might play better than Bo today. Uh, I'm kind of hyping this card up a whole lot, but I feel like he's actually really, really good because I remember how much I liked his Team of the Week card uh, back in the day. So, I um, mean, yeah, let's head over to the abilities. And Sean Alexander's a power back in the X-Factor slot. Today, we are rocking with Freight Train. Um, in the first slot, here's what he gets. Bulldozer, Jukebox, Armbar, Reach for it, Homer. Um, indoor Baller, Comeback, Second Wind. Um, in the second slot, he does add reach for it. I mean, I don't think he adds reach for it. No, in the second slot, he adds backfield, mismatch, bruiser, closer. Um, adds balance beam as well. I don't think he adds anything else. Yeah, I don't think he does. Oh, wait, did he not have... Okay, he, he, doesn't add, he doesn't add anything else besides these bottom abilities down here. And in the third slot, it's going to be the exact same. Um, he's going to add backfield, mismatch, bruiser, closer, uh, return man, and balance beam. So... Um, today we are rocking with Energizer and Bulldozer. Um, I feel like stamina is very important for these gameplays. So every single time I truck or stiff arm, um, we are going to get our, our stamina replenished. So that is the move today, I feel like. Um, I probably won't do too much stiff arming. I feel like stiff arming doesn't have that much success anyway. I mean, I'll try it. I feel like with a 95, he should still stiff arm pretty well. But um, not as well as if he had like Bruiser or something like that. So um, today, like I said, Bulldozer and Energizer for Team Chems. Um, does get wa does get Washington and uh, Seattle Seahawks, so that's only two teams right there. Um, full play fake, full sprinter, like I said, and today we are rocking with the Sean Alexander Legends art. Here's what else he gets. I don't think he had a Washington art. I don't think he did. And, yeah, he didn't, so. All right, so yeah, let's just hop right into it, man. The plan today with Sean Alexander is just to get him the ball in open space. I want to see what his juke move feels like. I want him to run people over on the try. I'm going to try stiff arming, guys. Um, but the main goal is just to get Sean Alexander the ball in open space. I feel like I've done a pretty bad job at doing that in my previous running back gameplay so the goal today is just to get sean alexander the ball in space that's all we got to do right, here we go game one we're facing big daddy greg 97 and he had rob woodson charles woodson and aaron Rodgers in that top three so it should be a pretty good game uh yeah and we're starting off this game here on defense texas routes coming there was it uh, outside that should be Dion, right no we don't we don't animate for it damn okay He's going to go here. Probably wants the same thing. Everything's boxed up. And no, it's not. He's got Julio Jones. Bro, how is... Dude, how is Rivas getting cooked by Julio Jones right now, bro? Um, We are here on offense. About to show off uh, Sean Alexander for the first time. Here he is. Um, Like I was saying, I don't know if I said it in the intro or not. But he has those small shoulder pads. So, um, yeah, let's see how he plays. Let's see how he feels. First run here. Good good, good blocking. Get up outside. Is he, are we going to go on the first play? Stop and go. Oh, yeah, we're gone. We're gone first play. 
We should be gone first play. We should be. Yeah, we're gone first play, Sean Alexander, man. A little stop and go, showing off the speech, showing off the acceleration. Um, <laughs> that's just what this car's gonna do, man. He 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 can break that big run, but also run a dude over over in the hole, man. Main guy I gotta watch is just Julio, man. Oh, and he the running back's just wide open. Just no one's guarding the running back. Oh, okay, I see. I see what's going on. Yeah, because I I didn't even get the run coming off. And oh we oh we actually almost stacked him up, but DRC decided to push him into the end zone for some reason. But Sean T would have solo tackled him and stopped him short, but yeah. Alright, so he does shift the line to the right now. So we should I mean to the left, so we should have the right side open. Good block to the middle, and we do get a fight for it, maybe down inches probably inches yep second and inches all right all right here we go let's try a little screenplay here this guy's kind of been locking in on the run so let's see what a screen can do does he see it uh oh that's isaiah simmons on us get a field run a dude over broken tackle and we do get a first down right there nice play right there from sean alexander let's get him man should have sean open catch that at a boy the 80 catching a little bit risky there um i'm not i don't know why i threw that that ball was actually very very risky all right we want to try a little corner right here to randy now he's going to use it. Of course he is. I got to throw it away. And we're going to fumble. And we're probably now out of field goal range. Nice. <laughs> we're in the middle of the field. We should actually have Gronk. Middle of the field. Go. All right. Nice play right there by Gronk. Let's call a timeout. Um, oh, is it fourth down? Okay, it's fourth down. I'll, I'll take my three points here. Oh, we got Sean on in the backfield. Running dude over here, Sean. Uh, we, do, we, 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 do miss the, uh, we do miss the truck. We do get a broken tackle right there. And does that keep Sean's... Yeah, that does keep Sean's energy up, which you definitely love to see. Here we go. We're going to try 0-1 trap out of this formation. I'll be honest. I have not tried this play before, but first time, and we got a good gash in the middle. Go, Sean. Go, Sean. Air truck. Okay, we'll take it. Good gain right there. Let's get it. 10 rushes, 130 yards, and a touchdown so far for Sean Alexander. Let's get it, man. Got Sean out of the backfield. Give me a little juke. And he's going to fight forward. Uh, Gronk? I mean, not Gronk. I, why did I say Gronk? Uh, Sean's showing me his heart right there. Why did I say Gronk? Got Sean again. Run a dude over there, Sean. Oh, he's fighting. He's fighting. Go, Sean. Let's go, baby. Let's go. All right, so I was making adjustments. And, of course, I uh, got a false start uh, while making my adjustments there on offense. And so now it is third and goal. We need a touchdown here. Who's going to give it to us? Oh, man. I shouldn't have put him on a corner route. No, we got to throw it away. What do I do? Do I take my three? Need, need, we need a touchdown. We should actually have corner of the end zone. Dion, touchdown. Let's go. Keep us in the game, Dion. Let's go. Man, that's a big throw. I know it wasn't to Sean Alexander, but you got to try to win the game at the end of the day, man. So um, we are up three. I, if I hit this extra point, good dot right there. I realized he was always using a corner route. I just put two on the field. Here we go. Just watch out. On, oh, he has Greg Jennings open. Like, what is that route? Like, what is that route, man? Like, oh my. Here we go. We're going to just start running the clock down here and then winning the game on a touchdown. That is the plan right now. And we get no blocking whatsoever. Give me a juke there. Broken ankles. Fight for it. Let's go, Sean. You're such a fighter, man. I mean, this guy is running a cover three. I got to try throwing the beater, man. I got to try it. We have X just wide open. Actually, kind of nice to save the beater for the last drive because he has no idea about it. Gonna have Gronk just wide open. Sideline. Gronk's inbounds. Let's go. Um, this is really good right now. But the problem is I have no red zone offense whatsoever. So this probably isn't going to end too well. I I'm going to have this open. Yo, get it there. Oh, we actually almost cut it a field, man. All right, here we go. Play the game, man. Play the game. Third and one. Oh, he gets a free runner. He gets a free runner right at me. Of course. <laughs> of course, dude. Should have Randy for a touchdown. And Randy comes down with it. And he, he actually caught it. Oh, my God. Randy actually caught it. Oh. I'm going to call timeout. Randy literally just caught that pass. And, that, and they somehow gave us that first down. Doesn't run commit. Give me some fight, Sean. Touchdown. Oh, my God. Sean just fought through three people for a touchdown. We may have just won the game on that. Holy, what a game. What a game, bro. As long as I don't blow it here at the end, man. Three dudes stacked up, and Sean reaches for the touchdown, dude. Oh, dude, he was like... <laughs> that was on a run commit. There's four guys on him. And he just fought for that. Oh, my goodness, bro. All right, guys. So, that's going to do it for the Sean Alexander gameplay. And honestly, I have no complaints with Sean today, man. Um, the 80 catching, the speed, the acceleration, the COD felt good. Um, his height at 5'11", the car didn't feel too big or clunky. Um, Sean Alexander just felt like a really, really good running back. Um, definitely a car I'm excited to use some more of. But I do feel like Sean Alexander is kind of a budget version of Bo Jackson because not everyone's going to have Sean Alexander on a theme team. Um, so, I mean, on a theme team, he's basically Bo Jackson. Not on a theme team, he's kind of like a slightly worse Bo Jackson. But 
Bo's going to be going for like 800k, 900k to a mil, with Sean Alexander's probably going to be like 230. It's probably when his price is going to fall down to like 230, 300 in that range. So um, right now, Sean Alexander definitely had probably the third best running back in the game right now. I'd probably go Alvin 1, Bo 2, and then i go Sean Alexander 3. And yes, I did say Alvin at 1. Alvin is better than Bo. I'm telling you right now, if you have Bo Jackson, sell him and go get Alvin Kamara. And also, Alvin's going to get that plus 1. Actually, Alvin's price may have shot up after what he did yesterday, but um, Alvin's basically guaranteed a plus 1. So, I mean, I think Alvin Kamara is the best running back in the game right now. Has the catching, the break tackle, the speed. The cards will be perfect. But um, anyway, this is a Sean Alexander gameplay. Um, just know I recommend this card. He's a very, very good option at running back. But um, yeah, if you are still watching, let's comment the zebra emoji down in the comment section. And if you are new here, hit that subscribe button, turn the notifications. And if the video helped you out, over to the video. Be sure to hit that like button. And as always, I'll see you boys in the next one.